All right, folks, in this video, we are going to be creating a map zoom animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. In my previous videos, I have shown you how you can create map animations using uh, QGIS and DaVinci Resolve and uh, got some questions regarding how to zoom into the map without losing the quality. So here is a satellite image of a map over here. So let's just uh, see this. All right, so we can see that it is quite far away. And we want to zoom into this portion in the middle over here. So if you normally add in a transform node after the media in, take a look at this transform and then you can just use the size over here and just scale it up. Uh, but then you will notice that you are going to lose a, a lot of quality. To fix this, we need to bring in the satellite images at different zoom levels. So this one right over here is zoom level which is like uh, quite far and then there is the second image over here and it's just zoomed in a little bit right and then you repeat the process and just zoom in to the area that you want to highlight so you can use google maps um, anything that you want i used QG qgis to create this uh, but yeah, of course, you can use uh, any other program if you want to use that. And then finally, we have this image over here, which is this uh, high resolution image showcasing this area over here. Um, cool. So let's just uh, bring all of these images and then we can just, all you do is just simply merge them up like so. So if you take a look at the very first one over here, you can see our satellite images on the top. And uh, what we want is we want the media in two, which is the second image. We want that to be as a foreground. So you have to right click and click on swap inputs. So your second image will be on top. And here we just want to scale it down. And they just scale it down till you match it up with the image one. So you can just scale it down using the size over here. And then you can use the blend also the blend option to uh, see what we are doing and then once you get the right result and you'll notice that it will be like that it is perfectly placed so this value over here this is um, the value that i used for this image and uh, if i just disable this this is um, before and you can see that there is no difference at all but then we are free to scale it up later on without losing much quality so yeah, then we have to repeat this process with media in three connect that up this result merge two. take a look at it again we just uh, scale that down and reduce the blend as well so that we can see what we are doing with the image and just move the size control and you will just feel that the image is in the right location so um, this value over here is what is correct for this image and then we just repeat the process for the last image as well scale it down and uh, use the blend as well and just simply uh, place the image where it should belong so you can just zoom in and uh, kind of be precise with this this is where it will belong in the image and then make sure you set the blend back to one on all of these merge nodes right then finally you can add in a transform click on add and then in the transform over here, you can go to the very first frame, create a keyframe on size and just go anywhere that you want to end the animation and then just simply scale in like so. So you can see that we are uh, zooming in to the image without losing or without sacrificing the quality of the image. So I think I'm going to go for like uh, five or six and that should be it. Yeah, so this was before and then we're zooming in and this is after we can now make it smooth. So select these two keyframes, hit S to make them smooth. And after the, after the merge over here, I'm going to add in a background, click on add. And on the background over here, I'm going to set the alpha all the way down to zero. And on the merge four, I'm going to right click and click on swap inputs it's because uh, right now the resolution is this over here we want this to be 1920 by 1080 same as the resolution of our background so right click on the merge 
click on swap inputs now it will be 1920 by 1080 and we have our animation ready so this is the image from far away and then it's gonna zoom in like that to that area uh, you could also go to transform over here go to settings and enable motion blur and just increase the quality and the shutter angle and you will have a much nicer looking animation but that is pretty much it that's how you can create this map zoom animation inside of DaVinci Resolve I hope this video is helpful I hope it will help you in your film projects thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one